So after years of not seeing the Taken movies, I rewatched the entirety of the trilogy and now that they're all fresh in my mind, it's the perfect time to rank them. So hi, my name is Ushin and welcome to the channel. In this channel I do movie reviews, rankings, unboxings, all that kind of stuff. So if you want to see more stuff like that in the future, make sure you click that subscribe button so you can come back and see all future content from me, as well as all previous stuff I've done in the past. As well, this is going to be my personal opinion on the Taken trilogy, so let me know your ranking in the comment section down below. Which ones do you love, which ones do you hate, let me know all that in the comment section down below. But with all that said, let's go on to number 3. And coming in last place, I have Taken 3. This is easily the worst in the franchise, where I thought the other two were more of a higher standard. I would have this in like, I think, a one and a half, maybe even lower in a rating. I think like for hand-to-hand -hand combat, where Liam Neeson in the first movie he says he's a very particular set of skills. In this movie, he doesn't really get to use them. You get very few hand-to-hand, -hand, even gunfights throughout this movie. Majority of the action scenes are actually car chase scenes, which can be interesting, but... In this movie, they are not interesting whatsoever. As well, the second movie kind of continues on the story, the first movie. But this one, you could really just call this anything. It doesn't have to be a Taken movie. There's no reason this is Taken 3 other than the fact that the first one and the second one made a ridiculous amount of money. So you could easily make another one and make another ridiculous amount of money. Because this movie, as a whole, doesn't feel like part of Taken movies. Besides the fact that the names are there. The action is quite dull. And the movie as a whole, it goes on way too long. The other ones are around an hour and a half, hour and 40. But this goes on for two hours, which is way too long for this movie. And my runner-up is Taken 2. As a sequel and just a continuation of what happened in the first movie. I think this is a fantastic sequel. It really bleeds off what happened in the first movie really, really well. Where in the first movie, he killed all these people trying to get back his daughter. And in the process, he killed the main man's son to the main man wants to get revenge on Liam Neeson and his family and killing them all just to get revenge and then seeing Liam Neeson go through this as well as being getting taken hostage everything I think it continues the story in a way for an action franchise it continues it off pretty well and I like it the way same way Die Hard has a great story the second one is kind of a bit all over the place it doesn't really continue it on but then Die Hard 3 continues that story on I feel like Taken 2 does that in such a great way as well the negatives I have is the fact that the movie doesn't really feel as intense as the first movie where the first movie had a ticking clock where we had to get everything done in a certain amount of time. I didn't feel the intensity in this movie because it didn't really matter when we got everything done. Liam Neeson isn't able to do as much action in this movie because he's kind of held hostage for a small portion of it but what we do get to see him do is pretty cool. And of course, my number one is Taken. I would easily say this is one of the best action movies of the last 20 years. The only other ones I can actually think of it that can compare to it is uh, John Wick. I can't think of any other action movie from the last 20 years that could nearly come close to this. I think Liam Neeson is honestly fantastic in this movie. That speech in particular that everyone knows that he says, I have a very particular set of skills, is just honestly, it's jaw-dropping how intense that scene actually is. I don't know what you want. If you are looking for ransom, I can tell you I don't have money. But what I do have are a very particular set of skills. The action is honestly fantastic. And as I said when I was talking about Taken 2, I love that he's got 96 hours to find his daughter. And if he doesn't do it in this 96 hours, that's it. She's gone. He's never going to find her again. So I found the intensity is what really made this movie just absolutely fantastic i loved the intensity seeing his daughter that we don't really get to see much so we see her at the start she's very young naive and you can see situations how it plays out how she gets in the scenario and you're looking at her saying no don't do that and then you see her like the fear in her face in that apartment and liam neeson just honestly going wild this is honestly one of the best action movies of the last 20 years it has one of some in the franchise has got easily the best action scenes and liam neeson honestly kicks some fucking ass in this movie so that's my ranking of all three Taken movies. Make sure you let me know your ranking in the comments section down below. This was actually the first time I watched this franchise since 2014, which is quite mad since Taken 3 came out. I'm in no hurry to go back and watch Taken 3, but I will be definitely watching Taken 1 and Taken 2 a lot more often. I'm not going to wait, what was it, seven, eight years to watch them again because these are actually fantastic action movies. And if you want to see more 
action franchises ranking for me i've got a die hard ranking i'll leave right up here and then right down here i'm gonna leave my angel has fallen well the has fallen trilogy the ranking is right down here it's actually a fourth movie coming out soon looking forward to that but if you want to see either of them they're up here right now and as always thanks for watching